George Washington, the American commander, learned that the British were planning to attack New York City. Washington and the Continental Army went to defend it. Washington realized that British could also attack Brooklyn, so he split his forces, keeping half in New York and half in Brooklyn. The British, along with their allies, the Hessians, surrounded Brooklyn, outnumbering Americans 3 to 1. The Americans guarded everything except for the left flank. On August 27th, Generals Grant and Von Heister of the British forces attacked from two sides. General Howe and his troops marched up Jamaica Pass to Americans' undefended left flank. The Americans were attacked from three sides. A battle was fought all day, and Americans were ferried over to New York to reinforce the Americans at Brooklyn. The Americans eventually became overwhelmed and retreated to the safety of Brooklyn Heights. Other British generals wanted to finish off Washington's army for good. However, Howe thought that Washington would surrender like any other European general. What he didn't realize was that Washington was not a European general and was not planning on surrendering. The next day there was a big storm so they could not fight and the English Navy couldn't sail to the East River to surround Brooklyn. George Washington came up with a plan to sail across the East River to New York so he collected all of the troops, supplies, and horses and boated them across the river to New York which they still occupied. Several of them stayed behind to make noise and make it seem like they were still there. The storm continued, protecting them from how the British troops and the Navy. Their luck continued the next morning when they were moving the last of their resources across the river. A heavy fog rolled in and kept them hidden. When the fog finally cleared and Howe was about to move in, he saw that Washington and his troops had made a miraculous escape. Although the British won the Battle of Long Island, they missed their one golden opportunity to defeat the Americans.